Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. In our last class, we saw how to view the employee records from the database, right? So uh, using Laravel and Vue.js. So here, now what I'm going to see here, this logo is showing on uh, Vue.js. I want to hide this logo. Here, I'm going to make the simple attractive uh, registration form of the employee. So first, what I'm going to go back to my project. Uh, my view project here go to the this is my component employee component go to the app dot view component here where is logo is coming from here this is a template app component this component is first loaded right so it's loaded with, along with the logo i'm going to cut off this logo this line image src assets logo png just this only line your backspace to remove them now save all and back here here your logo is gone now i'm going to make the simple attractive login form right so how to do the task is it's simple go to the google and type bootstrap form type bootstrap form press enter key if you type on this you can come here in this place so here click on the forms now this forms you get one some one thing else here this one i just get it this form copy them can right click and copy it back to my uh, app view js here so go to the my component we have my component employee view this is my component right this is a view page i have this design right this is my template inside the template we have to do my design right this is my table above the table i am going to paste my form design right so here i have to paste the design over here paste it here i'm going to type the heading the setting copy it paste over here okay, i'm going to name that employee registration this is employee registration form. right now let's save all and check whether it's fine or not okay it's working here it's working now what i'm going to do is here i i'm going to remove these fields i don't need them only one field i'm going to take it and i'm going to this all things i we no need them i'm going to get rid of this one label only the label we need this one no, no need yet label this one i want to change the name as this one as a employee name okay so you write employee name right that's the thing here this one should be not a email this is a text so it is text that's it this one i mean no need this one only the keep few of you if you need you can keep the placeholder right that's the thing you have to do right the same thing the same design i just copy and paste it below copy and paste it below right now here this one should be employee address right so address this one should be that employee uh what is the things mobile so mobile that's it that's the thing you have to write okay right now let's save all and check whether its form is correct yeah it's working right the place order only we have changed this one co copy and paste it over here employee name here the employee address copy and paste it over here this mobile copy and paste it over here control is save all you can check it's working fine now what i'm going to do is instead of submit button you have to make that this one save this not submit button save perfect right now what i'm going to do is another important stuff we have to make the two-way binding right two way binding if you import the two way two way binding method over here so how to import the two way two binding method if you have type something here employee name we have to stop so we have to write over here v dash model on vue.js v dash model equal v dash model equal the name so you have to write 
task you have to write the some variable right what are the way you, you can create any variable right here i'm going to create here the employee say employee dot name go to name right this all the things we have we have we need to create so the same thing task this one copy it the same thing you have to paste it over over here as well this one should be the employee address the same thing copy it paste it as below this is an employee mobile like these variables we need to create below right so that's that's how the uh, two way binding works right so what i'm going to do is after that we go below i'm going to create the variables now i'm going to create this variable right so i'm going to copy this one name employee the same the same name we have to create below result comma you have to type here result after result you have to paste it over here employee colon open bracket and close bracket here what i'm going to do this variable you have to declare right what are the variables you have to declare first one should be the id it's a, it's a employee id right what are the columns available we have to declare here. all the things that we have we need to create right employee right so colon you have to right it will be stored here okay it will be stored when you type the variables it's stored here employee name wait second one should be the uh second should be the what is the name employee id employee name address and mobile okay so first this is the api where the api you have to get the api first api slash save so api slash uh what is the name employees right the uh api is must right the right so here this one id name this is a name right the same name you have to give name address so it's name what type of name colon after the comma address colon comma here we have the mobile colon so write like this okay perfect now what i'm going to do is when when someone type on these text fields employee name it will be stored over here this name this employee name this one right that's the thing first you have to do it okay after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, create another thing sir after the methods we have to create the functions so i'm going to create another function this is save i'll get this function save the save function i'm going to do two different things one is a uh, add records another one is a update record right later on we do the update record so first we have to inside the save method i'm going to create another method this is save data save data because we are do this uh, add and edit the same form that's why I'm, I'm going to make the two different functions over here save function and save data function so save data function we have to type the xocs this xocs this one right this is the save function right so simply first i'm going to get this one at this time when you save the record not get value it's a post value you have to post the value post here we have to write the same request you have type over here only the thing is uh we have a single quotation we have to forget the single quotation marks you have to write here you can write double quotation as well it's no problem double quotation mark here slash here uh employee not uh employee this one should be saved if the request is coming from the data uh, api save record need to be saved comma which record need to save this dot employee employee this not employee me this employee records this all the records it will be when you type the uh, when you fill the form this form when you fill the form this all the record will be this form fillable record it will be stored in the v model v model 2y binding it will be stored here and if you are called this one employee this dot employee all the component will be here it will be go to the same right so after that what you are going to do is after that uh you have right then dot then right then after that bracket open bracket close 
Okay, after that you have to write bracket to open bracket close. Here you have to write uh, open bracket and close bracket. Here data. The data. You have to write data. Data. You have to write here. You have to pass a message as alert. You have to pass save. That's a malware message. It will be displayed. Right. This is a front end. Right. So now here I forgot. Another thing is we have to do the back end. Back end also I didn't write the code for the back end. Go to the Laravel controller section, employee control. Here only I have written on the index function. It will be returned the uh, JSON view. We will be uh, getting the API like this. Now here what I'm going to say I'm going to store the data. So what I'm going to explain it. Okay, don't worry about that. I copy this one. I paste it over here. Here simply I'm going to create another function. Public function store. We have a request, the request values. What are the values of uh, 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 through coming from the coming through the post method? It's request. It will be getting the values, right? Getting the value, we have a employee. Say employees. Here, this one should be the employee table. Okay, it getting the value. It's, it it is passing. It is setting to the these values are setting to the models like this, right? This is a name, address. The other one is the mobile. It's mobile, right? So what are the API? The same thing. I name ID should be auto but we don't need name, address, mobile. The same field should be here. If you have set this one, these values are coming here. Store the same value, you will set it here. It will be inserted, right? So if it is not entry, it first you have to set the value and put it in the variable employee. Right? This employee variable after that, the same variable. We have a predefined method which is save in Laravel. This call call the value our data will be saved in the database right employee creator right. that's it that's simple stuff do why it, it not work but we have to we, we didn't give the route go to the api here the section we have to copy this this these things paste it over here so here this one should be the employees this one should be the not employees save so, so save what's the method store if you type the save method like this it stores a function store. That's the function. This is store function. Store function, what is it will be inside the record into the database. That is the stuff it will be work. Right? Okay. That's the thing it should be work. Uh, now let's go back here. Right? So here it's not work. Now when you click the button, it's nothing not working. Right? Now we have to do some uh, things. Right? So what to do is after that, we have to this, we have to call this one as a in the same method we have type this dot save data we can call this function save data after that in the form when you click the when you click the button submit button the submit button it goes to the form the form the form right the form we have to go to the action method form right so we have to write the submit we have to write how to write the vue.js you have to write like this at you just have to write at submit at submit all right at submit right at submit you have to write at submit dot prevent you have to prevent the uh reloader okay just save save function but if you are right like this it goes to the submit if you click the submit button what happens goes here and it's called the function save we have the save function is there the save function is here it goes to the function this function it's go to the it will be complete your request if it's success it will be success message alert will be done right now let's check now let's check here check it i just enter as and something address mobile number under type save uh not working let's impact you can check uh, here the element uh, the request something problem right now if you get this result we just go to the laravel it's a laravel problem go to the laravel so it's a laravel api dot which oh, here all ah, right the problem is here post not get we are posting the value to save method, right so it goes to the function store right so let's save all and check it again Right now, I'm going to work it here. 
and address USA mobile number something like that click save button again again go back to our Laravel this is if you get the error if you, you will be learned right here the this one is correct save store function score store function something error all right this is the mobile okay nice that's the problems I think I hope right now we have to change the name also same right that's why the problem is happened now let's again we have to write uh, employee and address us usa mobile number something like that click save button here save right this is how we have find the error and do the program right so that's why i have uh, do some uh, do some troubleshooting part right so here if you are if you are work with the while while the errors come if you are short out how to short out the error everything i will be include this video right you have to go through and search. if you have any problem with the url just go to the routes if your route is correct or not okay if you go to the routes if the route is not correct it work it won't work right so check the api routes okay after that if the route is correct then if it is not added the record in the dev sure check with the the function the function everything's correct or not right this is how we have solve of your errors thank you for watching if you have any doubt you let me know that uh, in my next video tutorial i'll be teaching how to edit the record and delete the record right thank you for watching